For next year, I will be attending a UIC in the fall and majoring in bioengineering. How did you decide on that field of study? So I decided on bioengineering because as a kid, I was like really curious. I loved like building things and like I enjoyed building my brother's Lego sets better than he did. So it was all about this making something and my mom is a nurse so she introduced this love of science for me so then when I got to high school there's so many fields of like science engineering and then I found bioengineering and I thought it was excellent and like basically perfect for me science is like so broad and like when you think you find an answer there's really more questions so I want to be one of those people who try to find those questions that will drive our society Tell me about a teacher from somewhere along your path in going to Valley View schools that had a profound influence on you. At Hermanson in elementary school, my third and fourth grade teacher, Miss Dorr, she was the person who brought me out of my shell. As a kid, I was like super shy. I would sit in the back, read books, because I was a bookworm. And she just found this way to connect with me and like make this connection and get me to talk to her like, no other teacher would and so I really owe um, her I really owe to her um, like who I am today because uh, she made me feel more confident in myself especially as a third grader and I felt more respected as a person because of the way that she would interact with me. What will be your fondest memory of Romeoville High School? I am in the marching band and last year before in October before like all the pandemic hit in the January um, we were actually we went to state and um, we got eighth place in state and it was um, like this competition took the whole day and even though we were so exhausted it was like one of my fondest memories of being part of the school being part of like a community such as marching band where everyone is like together and rooting for each other and the fact that we could all like stand next to each other and cheer and like scream when we heard our school's name being called, it was fantastic and it was like my fondest memory of the school. Look into the future 20 years or so, what will you tell people about what it was like to be a member of the COVID pandemic class of 2021? I think that I would refer to it as um, a group with of people who have persistence uh, more so because it took more energy and more intrinsic motivation to be able to get yourself out of bed to do online school or even to um, progress through your schoolwork it took a lot of self-motivation especially since we weren't in school we weren't seeing our friends we didn't have that social interaction and we were just home by ourselves isolated especially during first semester of this year so I think it's the class of 2021 is uh, filled with people who have persisted through such a tough year.